everyone welcome back to my channel today I will be teaching you how to do Senegalese twist this is the client that I have for today her hair is already moisturized and also this is the hair that I will be using it's called expression pre-stretch and it comes three in one this right here I wanted to show you because it's like a um, wrist band thing that I put my edge control or edge wax on that way I don't have to reach over far away just to get product for my client's hair. So once I prep all that, it's time to start. I put edge wax on the area that I'm about to use and then I take my hair and I start. So to start my Senegalese, I do start my Senegalese with a braid because I believe that it lasts longer. Now, if you just prefer your Senegalese with a twist, this is not the tutorial for it, but this is how I do my client's hair and this is also how my clients prefer it as well. So my client today, she requested waist length Senegalese twist and also my client she does not like too much pain so i do tell her she can hold on to every single braid so as soon as i'm done the braid then she holds on to the twist if your client does not have like a tender scalp you still would want her to hold all the braids on the edges because when you're doing twists the twists tend to twist at the root and you don't want that twisting at the root right on the edge because then that can cause way too much tension and it can pull your client hair out. So it is important for them to hold every edge when twisting. When doing these type of twists, I do prefer doing circle parts only because it makes it a little bit fuller but not too full and not too thick. But it makes it look just right. So because this is not a braid tutorial, I did not show you how I braided at the root, but I pretty much braided it going down three times and then I started twisting. Here I am about to slow it down to show you how I twist. So I pretty much twist both strands and then twist that together. So here I'm showing you that I, while I'm going down, both strands is twisted and then I just twist down. So it's like a technique, once you get the hang of it, you are able to go faster, but at first it's, it's something that you have to get used to. When it comes to convenience, the style is very easy to take out and the waist length took me less than six hours. So to me, it takes less time than braids. I would suggest keeping them in nothing more than two months because you don't want them to lock. I will say the only negative thing about this style is just for the stylist, that repetitive motion of your wrist going back and forth. If your wrist start hurting, just take a pause and do hand exercise. Once I'm all done, I take a pair of scissors and I clean the braids by cutting out all the flyaways. When a braider is taking scissors to clean the braid, they are not necessarily cutting your hair. Also, as you can see, I only go halfway up and then I move on to the next twist. Here, I'm about to dip my client's hair. I either do three section or two. Today I will only be doing two. I take the hair, I put it in like a Kool-Aid pitcher. I have a good grip on that pitcher, so that's why I like using it to dip client's hair. So I pretty much will go all the way down and do this up and down motion with the very tip. Then I take the hair with the towel and I like to shake it to get all that steam out because that steam do go up to the roots and it can like be a lot of heat for the client. Dip the ends again, just the very tip of the ends. So here is the up and down motion that I was just explaining that pretty much helps it stay straight 
Then I take my towel and I just rub that straight down. Here I'm using my Shine and Jam Magic Finger Setting Mousse. If you're looking for a mousse, this one is um, more for braiders. And I like it because it's nice and thick. So I just rub that all over her twist. And after that, just wait for the setting lotion to dry up and I am done for the day. Here is the final look of my client's hair. This is the back. That is the side, the very top. It is not too thick, not too thin. It is just right for that client. Once again, I thank you all for watching. Please follow my hair page on Instagram and I will love to see you next video. So please subscribe and like so you don't miss a beat. Thank you.